Hey, this is how to use the hammer to tighten the wire. So there's a break in the wire here. Uh, we've gone through and loosened all the staples so that the wire can pull through quite happily without getting barbs caught in the staples. Um, and then at the end of the wire here, we've just folded it back on itself with plenty of room and gone wound and wound at least three times. But um, I sometimes do a bit more, especially if it's old wire. Uh, next you want to take your number nine black fencing wire. You can also use the um, barbless two twin wire. Um, go through here and then come along to find your other other end of your wire. As you can see I prepared that in the same way, folded back and twisted. The reason we go through from the other end is because it lets you know how much wire you need. It's less wasteful. Then we come to this end and we just fold that over and again twist three times to make a connection there. So that's one side done. Then we come back to the other side and we pull it hand tight. So we want to pull this side as tight as we can and then just fold your number nine wire over. You want to leave about a hand span or a little more if you've got small hands um, so that you've got enough to go around the hammer. And before you cut it, just hold here and it'll save it flicking off. Snap that. So you've now got a piece of number nine wire, just the right size. Next up, you take your hammer. You need to get a close up on this. You place the head of the hammer over the existing fence. And then you bend your number nine wire over the head of the hammer and then round and up through the claw. Okay, so head of the hammer on the curve of the fence, number nine wire comes up through the curve of the fence hole, over there, and through the claw. And then I usually hold the claw like this, and as you turn the hammer in a clockwise direction, you're tightening the fence, and you've got all of this leverage to make sure you get it nice and tight. As you're doing it, if you look up and down the fence, if you can see any fence posts moving, you've got staples you need to loosen. So you pull a fence post right over by tightening like this. We seem to have done an okay job of that. I can see we're getting nice and tight in both directions. As you can see, we've taken most of the staples out all the way up that hill. Once you've got it nice and tight, don't over tighten uh, because you just ping something off at some point. And then once it's completely tight, you will lose a little bit of slack when you undo it, so take it about a half inch further than you need to. And then you simply unroll the hammer. So place your hand on the claw, pull back in the other direction, and start to unroll the hammer. And as you can see, it'll start pulling the wire back in the other direction. And this bend will hold your tension. So you pull your hammer back. Once I get to about this point, I always grab this. If you undo the hammer all the way and rely on just that bend to hold it, it'll ping out and you'll lose your tension and have to start again. Um, then, once I'm holding that, you can take the hammer the rest of the way out. And then you just straighten this up. And if you hold this with fencing wires, it's the easiest way to twist. So hold that with your fencing pliers. And then you can just give this three good twists to make it secure and then we'll just twist it on the rest of the way, keep that spare wire out of the road. And there you have it. And then you simply go back along with your staples and staple it all into place. A good tip with the staple, if you can get a close up on this, don't go straight up and down because as you can see, there's a split in the wood there. I'll just widen that split if I go straight up and down. So if you put the angle on a staple, on a, sorry, staple on an angle, either side of that and then it's not ideal to be doing it over the twist of the wire but it's not the end of the world and then that's stapled normally if there wasn't a twist there you'd push it in just till the staple was touching the wire and the wood and that's how you tighten it with a hammer